In calculus, you have already encountered a lot of different functions, like sine and cosine and powers and exponentials, etc., etc. And now we also start to look at functions or transformations in linear algebra. Fortunately, all our transformations in linear algebra can be implemented by a matrix. This means that they are so-called linear transformations, and this linearity makes all manipulations a lot easier than those with their nonlinear counterparts from calculus. So what does this exactly mean that the transformation is linear? That is what you will learn in this video. We'll see that using an example. We have a transformation T from R2 to R2, so implemented by 2 by 2 matrix A, 1, 2, 3, 4, choice of A probability won't surprise you by now, uh, T of X equals A times X. And we take several vectors X, X1 to X4, and we wonder what happens with T of X. Well, we know how to compute them, just need the results. T of x1 equals a times x1, because t of x equals a times x, equals a times x1, so use the row column rule. 1 plus 4 equals 5, and 3 plus 8 equals 11. Second one, we find 2 plus 6 equals 8, and 6 plus 12 equals 18. In each of x3, 2 plus 8 equals 10, and 6 plus 16 equals 22. And then the last one, 3 plus 10 equals 13, and 9 plus 20 equals 29. So there we are, have the images of x1 up to x4. Why do we need all those? Well, to illustrate the property of linear transformations. Because we see t of x1 plus t of x2. So this is sum of these two equals 13, 29, 13, 29. And it happens to be exactly the same as the image of x4. So the t of x1 plus x2 happens to be the same of t as the t of x4. But x4 equals x1 plus x2. So what do we see here? The image of x1 plus the image of x2 is the same as the image of x1 plus x2. Well, that's a coincidence. Then we look at 2 times the image of x1. So 2 times the image of x1 equals 1022. It happens to be exactly the same as this one, the image of x3. So 2 times the image of x1 happens to be exactly the same as the image of x3. And x3 happens to be 2 times x1. So that's a coincidence, 2 times the image of x1 equals the image of 2 times x1. Is that a coincidence? Well, no, of course not. And it's due to the fact that t of x is given by a times x. A matrix multiplication has the following two properties. You can compute a times u plus v you can in two ways. You can compute u plus v and then compute a times u plus v. Or you can compute a times u and a times v and then add the result. That yields the same result. For scalars, a times c times u is the same as computing first a times u and then multiplying by c, or compute c times u and then compute a times c times u. So this property, t of x1 plus t of x2 equals t of x1 plus x2, is in fact due to the fact how this matrix multiplication actually works. And then we have here some strange signs. This capital A reversed is the short symbol for all, u and v, and the zero sign means element of. So this holds for all vectors u and v, which are element of R2. And here we see something similar. This rule over here holds for all vectors u in R2 and for all scalars c. Well, for a transformation which is implemented by a matrix, this rule so these rules over here hold. We generalize this. A transformation T from the domain to the codomain is called a linear transformation if exactly these two rules over here hold. So if the image of u plus v 
is the image of u plus the image of v for all vectors in the domain. And if the image of c times u is the same as c times the image of u for all vectors in the domain and scalar c. So matrix transformation always satisfies these rules. So a matrix transformation is always a linear transformation. So in our course, we will only encounter matrix transformations, so we will only encounter linear transformations. And now you're wondering, why are we talking about linear transformations? Would there be transformations which are linear, but which are not implemented by a matrix? Well, the answer is of course yes. And even better, I think if you think carefully yourself, you can find examples of that from your calculus. I'm curious to see whether you can find them, and I, uh, I would be happy to read that below in the forum.